Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 12 of my discord.py bot tutorial and today we're going to be talking about um, modals, 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 not 100% sure how to say it, I think it's modals, um, <clears throat> that's just discord's word for it, but pretty much um, I'll put a picture of it up on screen because you don't know what they are because it's probably the most unused interaction type um, that discord.py has, um, it's kind of like this it's like this submit form is like the best way you could like think about it. Um, there's a bunch, you can add these different text, uh, text fields that like kind of pops up on your screen. It takes up your whole screen and then you can put in text. And then when you obviously when you enter that, you can do stuff with that text. Um, so the only practicality on this is pretty questionable. Um, the only thing I could really think of you like using it for is like, maybe like anything that like involves like submitting a form, like maybe even like, um, like a, if you want to send like, like players to submit a help request or like a suggestion request stuff like that um yeah practicality i don't really know exactly how to use this like that's the best thing i can think of is like a suggestion um form that you could submit um but yeah with that being said hope you guys have an amazing day and let's jump right into it all right so jumping over to visual studio code let's jump right into it so the first thing that we need to do is create a class of type ui.modal so let's just jump over to the documentation so we can look at that um, this is the class discord.ui.modal that we'll be using and um, there's only one thing that it takes that we're really going to use is title because by default timeouts none custom ID we've talked about what custom ID is um, you may need that but I don't know why exactly you'd be calling back on a modal I don't know just don't worry about custom ID if you need a custom ID it's there but we're just going to focus on the title because that's all I really care about um, and obviously it has a lot of different methods that we can do on submit on error is persistent is finished is dispatching all different stuff we can clear items add in items um, we can stop or we can wait um, but for now we're just going to be using title for the modal and then we're going to be using on whoops be using well this on submit right here so when the modal is actually submitted we can do stuff with it so yeah let's go ahead and, and let's create it all right, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is create our class for our modal. And I'm just going to go out and say that the modal is actually the, hopefully I'm saying that right. It's either modal, modal, whatever. I'm going to call it modal. Y'all can correct me in the comments. But anyway, it's probably the easiest to create, honestly, as a class, because you don't have to worry about the init or the um, super init, stuff like that. You can just go ahead and create it just like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Class, we'll just call this my modal. And then um, we'll take in discord.ui.modal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of variables and these are going to stand for all the different text fields that we are going to have. So um, we're going to call it um, field one is equal to and if you actually go over here and if we go ahead and look at the documentation, you can see an example right here and you see we have these variables right underneath which are of type UI dot text input, which is how we're actually going to take input from the user and create that little text field. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do ui.text input. Oh, we, sorry, to do that, we need to import um, UI from Discord. And then change this instead of discord.ui.modal. It could just be ui.modal, so that's easier. Okay, so ui.text input. And then that, if we find text input, where is text input? We find it on right here, text input. It takes in a label style placeholder default if it's required the minimum length ma max length and whatever row it's on so it takes in a lot of different stuff but let's put the label which will be like the title of it so um we can just do enter your name so let's actually rename this to name name is equal to ui.text input label is enter your name and the description wait is it description no what is it placeholder sorry placeholder so this will be what's like um the placeholder for the paragraph or whatever is the input um it'll have that like already like pre-written and you just write over it so into your name um i'll just put my name is dot 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 and then we can also put a text or the style so and these are of type text style so if we go ahead and find that we can have short paragraph or long um and it looks like paragraph and long are the same thing so short or long i guess are the two different ones 
So it would be discord.text style dot. And if you want a short one, I think it's going to be just a one liner. And then a paragraph is like five or six lines that can obviously expand. So let's just do short because it's just for the name. And that should be everything for that one. And then we can create multiple of these. So we're going to do name age UI dot text input label is equal to enter your age comma <coughs> placeholder is equal to um, my ages dot 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 and then also the style is equal to discord dot text style dot this will be another short one and then just so we can switch it up the last one will be a paragraph one and this will be um, about you is what we'll call it. I would just call it about ui.text input. And this will just say, tell me about yourself. So we can have a paragraph one. Placeholder is equal to I am dot dot dot. Style is equal to discord dot text style dot. And like I said, you can either put long or paragraph. It does the same thing. So there we go. That's our three inputs. And, um, Hold on, I'm thinking. Okay, so technically our modal is completely done and we have this created modal, modal, whatever. Um, but we need to actually send it um, with something. So it works a little bit differently as it's not technically a view. Um, and I'll show you that real quick. So let's go ahead and create a command at client.tree.command name is equal to modal, modal, whatever. It's gonna bother me until I know how to say it. I have no idea how to say it. Um, async def that word interaction just discord dot interaction. And then if you go to the interaction part of um, the documentation, if we go over that real quick, if we go over to the interaction response part of the interaction um, docs, you can see the send modal, which is what we're gonna use instead of before we were responding with a send message. Now we're gonna send the modal or modal, whatever. So we're going to say await interaction dot response dot send underscore modal and we're going to pass in the modal my modal. And so now this should completely work. We don't have to mess with views or anything. Um, but obviously nothing will happen out of this. We'll be able to input stuff, but we won't be able to like submit or anything. Um, and let's go ahead and try this out. So if I do slash modal, we press enter. It did not work. Let's see what the issue is. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the modal must have a title. Sorry. So come up here to the class, you do title is equal to, um, just call it information. Sorry, I forgot that the, I literally mentioned that we're going to put the title, but I didn't. So that is my fault. Um, let's try it one more time, slash modal. And as you can see, we have this little box. And so this kind of shows you visually um, what the actual modal looks like. If you've been coding through this and you're like, what the heck is a modal or modal, whatever. Um, this is what it is. So. You can use this for suggestions, whatever you want. That was just my idea. So you can see the different stuff that we've entered. So, oh, whoops, sorry. I actually clicked out of it. Um, so we have our first text field, which is enter your name and have the placeholder of my name is. So we can just put our name, enter your age. You can go my age is, and then tell me about yourself. And as you can see, this one has a 4,000 character limit. Um, does it say what this one has? Oh, this one's also 4,000, I guess, but it's just the size of it's smaller. Um, Tell me about yourself. I am, and you can put whatever you want. As you can see, that count is going down. But when then when you press submit, nothing happens because we haven't coded that in yet. Um, something went wrong. Try again. And you can see our title up here, and this is the little logo of the bot, and then this little caution thing that ha has on every single um, thing. It's just part of Discord. Um, so let's get this submit button to actually work. So in order to do that, if we go back, we just have to go inside of our class. We say async def on submit, and that was one of the, oh, let me find it, on submit, there we go, that was one of the methods on submit called when the modal is submitted. So let's go ahead and um, do that. So on submit, we're going to take in interaction, hot interaction, oops, discord.interaction, and then we're going to say await interaction dot response dot send underscore message um we'll just say hello for now just to test it out oh and sorry as i'm running this i completely forgot one thing 
this is a function inside of a class or other note uh, otherwise other what is the also known as a method so we're going to pass in self um, and then um, if you wanted to get these values so let's actually make this not just say hello because that's meaningless um, if you want to get these values what you have to do is you have to take in self dot and then whatever the name is you can see we have about age um, if you scroll we have a name so those are our three different things so we can get self dot about and that'll be the about so let's just make this make sense so self dot name we'll make it say hello self dot name so that'll be whatever name they inputted and we'll say you are self dot age years old and um, and you said self dot about about yourself so just trying to make sense of what we actually created this modal modal to actually do so we should see this response after we submit it um, so let's go back here let's make another one as you can see um, your application did not respond oh because wait modal it's already responded Oh, sorry, that was from the last one. Okay, I was confused. Okay, so let's put our name as Sanimo. Age, I'm 100. Tell me about yourself. Um, I like making YouTube videos. Let's press submit. As you can see, hello Sanimo, you are 100 years old and you said I like making YouTube videos about yourself. So that's how the on submit um, thing works. And also you can do whatever you want with this um, modal, modal. Again, still don't know how to say it, don't care. Um, and that's how you can use a submit. And there's also other different functions like on error. Um, if there's an error, you can do something with it. Um, let me see what the other functions are. So, I mean, just read through the documentation and see what they have. They have add an item. If you want to add an item, you can clear all the items. Um, I mean, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Just read through it. Um, you can make these responses, ephemerals, if you'd like. Um, but yeah, documentation's here for you guys to read through, but that's pretty much the basics of a modal. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. Whatever. Anyways, that's the basics of that word. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop them down below or join my Discord server for help. I'll be able to help you guys over there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, drop them down below, and I'll make sure to um, attend to them. Um, hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.